Walters, your digital marketing analyst. You're welcome to our channel. So today we'll be looking at um, how to consolidate your to consolidate duplicate uh, content or duplicate pages using uh, the canonical uh, URL or using the canonical link. So we're going to look at it in two perspectives because uh, obviously if you're having duplicate content or you're having duplicate URL that have uh, identical content, it's actually uh, going to hurt your SEO, uh, even though that a lot of people don't agree with that. but. Uh, it creates a kind of uh, confusion for your users and search engine algorithm that are crawling and indexing your site. And remember that uh, a part of your indexing factor is uh, the user experience going forward now. And anything that poses challenges, difficulties for your users is uh, hampers your user experience that could affect your ranking by the search engine algorithm and uh, it happened that uh, duplicate content is one of those issues that a lot of uh, bloggers a lot of website owners uh, have to contend with so it happened for obvious reasons some are knowingly some you don't even know it could be as a result of mistake or it could be as something that you've created and uh, uh, it, it does happen a lot in when it comes to like on the e-commerce where you have uh, one product having different URL pointing to the same product. So we're going to look at how to fix that problem, how to instruct the search engine algorithm to to help you to consolidate these pages. Uh, so there are two ways that you could do that. Uh, there are two ways that we're going to look at how to do it. One is uh, if you're using the WordPress content management system, you can download the Yoast plugin and I'll walk you through how to uh, direct the, or how to give the search engine instruction to actually uh, index that particular, uh, that particular page. And uh, secondly is, uh, using the HTML code, just a HTML code uh, to uh, redirect this page. Remember when I use the word redirect, there's no actually, you're not redirecting anything, you're just giving that instruction. So, and how do you do that redirect? So we're also going to look at it so that uh, you have uh, a flawless, uh, side that you're presenting for search engine to rank and index because we're in a competitive world so you want your site to appear on search engine you want your site to be visible to your visitors so and that's what we're going to look at what you sit back i walk you through uh, through this two through, through these two different methods remember you have multiple pages so we're looking at how you can consolidate other pages and how to go so if you are using the yoast uh, plugin if you're using the wordpress content management system and you've downloaded your yoast plugin for your seo and uh, we are talking about the uh, conical uh, uh, conical url and how to redirect your pages that have uh, multiple or identical content so and you want to display you want the search engine to index a specific page either based on the number of vc that have a similar content or duplicate content so because that could hurt your seo so what you need to do is that in this point here if you go into any page just go down to the point where you have the SEO plugin, uh, where you optimize your site. So you, at this point, you have uh, the conical, con canonical, sorry, I find it hard to pronounce this, uh, URL. So um, you see here, I've just attached this URL. It is assumed at this stage that I have duplicate uh, content relating to this topic on how to Google my business. Uh, how Google My Business help companies get more uh, more traffic or more sales. So if I created another post like the one that I'm posting on uh, on Twitter or other social media that created another identical page that have the same content. So what I need to do is that I'm just going to choose between these two pages for search engine to display to consolidate this page so if i go here so the page that i want to put here is just for you to copy the url and paste the url here and remember when you paste the url remember to paste everything including the https that's what you want the that page to redirect to so the only difference between redirect and the canonical url is that it's just a form of redirect but in 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 this case you are not actually 
uh, redirecting anything. But all you are needing, you just giving the instruction for Google to another search engine to index uh, this particular page. So, and uh, once you do that, the used uh, SEO plugin will actually render the correct uh, canonical URL for almost any page that you type in uh, that you inserted on this. So you need to do this if you want the change. Uh, if you want the change to actually reflect in. Uh, search and if you want your current page to actually reflect uh, in search engine in search engine result so it's just as simple as that so the plugin that we're using here is actually uh, the use plugin and if you want to get that use plugin you have the free version if you're not using Yoast so you can actually go to our resource uh, page so go to use plugin and so you can actually uh, go from there and download your the the plugin into and upload it into your WordPress uh, site. So uh, it's just as easy as that. And uh, this will actually help to improve uh, the user experience on your website. In this session, so we are going to look at how to use the HTML uh, conical URL code for you to uh, pick one of the pages that you want uh, search engine uh, to end this. So we are talking about uh, how to consolidate duplicate content and multiple URL. And we all know that this is bad for SEO. It hurts your ranking and it hurts the user experience on your site. So if you're having multiple URL that have identical content or what is called the duplicate content. So what, what you have to do is to pick one of the uh, the pages from the multiple pages or the multiple URL. So once you selected that page, um, what you what you need to do is to actually create this uh, uh, HTML HTML code here. Uh, his, this is the link. Or, or, uh, this is how it look like here. So you insert your the page that you want a search engine to index among the multiple multiple pages so if you are just joining what you need to do is uh, what we're talking about is how to change the conical url of uh, multiple pages because it hurts your seo so when you log into your wordpress uh, website you navigate to the post or uh, or the page that you want to change so what you do is uh, you enter the full conical url that's this so you copy the url of those multiple pages or identical pages uh, that is causing confusion for search engine and your users so once you copy that you can copy this code or you can write this also for yourself so at this point here please make sure that it goes with the https as it is on the page so i will just advise that you just copy from the page and just paste it here so once you paste it on the on your feed so you're good to go so what that means is that you are actually uh, telling the search engine to actually merge all other pages into one from the search engine uh, perspective so it's a kind of a soft uh, redirect without actually redirecting the user so once you complete this exercise make sure that you submit the url to google search console for indexing i, I want to repeat it once you've completed the section uh, submit your url uh to or your, your url in google search uh, uh google search console for indexing and ranking by by Google and also submit to other webmasters like Bing for them to uh, index to to index your site. So it's very, very important. So you don't have to just wait uh, till the search engine crawls your your site. So I think that's all we need. All you need to know about uh, changing your conical URL to uh, fix the problem of duplicate content and mo multiple URL because uh, um, it, it causes confusion. So when you open and you also, apart from causing confusion, your pages are competing with each other, which also affect your ranking. So uh, that's all for the conical URL. I think we are coming to the end of this, uh, this presentation. So if you have any question, just send in your question. Um, I, our email uh, is below this video. Just send us an email. We'll respond to you as soon as possible. And I want to say thank you for listening to this presentation and have a great day.